today we're going to be drawing this cute textured succulent. Don't forget to grab your free brush with the link in the description. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have this cute little plant with lots of textured layers. First, we need to draw our leaves. So I grabbed the monoline brush and I drew each leaf on its own separate layer and filled each one with color. And of course the plant needs a pot, so I drew the base in its own layer and filled it with color, the rim in a separate layer and filled that with color, and the interior in another layer. Since we'll be adding shading and highlights, it's important to have each element on its own individual layer. Make sure alpha lock is turned on for each layer. Place two fingers and swipe to the right. Grab your chalky shader and just start adding shading to each layer. Next, I wanna add a darker shadow under the rim. So I'm gonna use the brush called Whole Lot of Shade and that's available in my Totally Textured pack. You can grab this bundle with a link in my description or just use your chalky shader with a darker color. Use your smudge tool with the same brush texture to smooth things out as you need to. Next, we'll work on the interior of the pot. For that, I wanted to use this chunky shader. We'll really add a lot of shading to make that really dark, like the soil inside of a pot. Adjust your leaves if you need to, to bring them forward or backward in your layers until you get the look that you want. Obviously you don't want any leaves like behind the rim of your pot, so if anything falls behind the rim or the planter, you can just scoot it up to the top. Now let's shape our leaves. Go to each leaf and erase little scoops out of the leaf the whole way down so it resembles the look of an aloe leaf a little bit more than this perfectly smooth line. Of course, you can leave your leaves totally smooth if you want. It's really just personal preference. And for mine, I wanted it to look a little bit more textured and like the elements to be a little bit more like irregular shaped and stuff like that. So I thought I'll erase out these little chunks to make it look like a jaggedy um, cactus leaf or an aloe leaf. Make any final adjustments to your leaves to get it to look just right before you start adding your texture. Okay, now comes the fun part. We're gonna start adding texture to our leaves. So make sure alpha lock is turned on for each leaf and you can use the chalky lift brush if you have my texture pack. If you don't, you can use a spray paint brush that's available in the Procreate app. There's some really great ones built into the app. If you're using my, my lift brush, then you can use the same color that the leaf is painted. And when you color over top to add your highlights, it'll automatically lighten it just a little bit to a shade that's within the same like hue. If you're using a spray paint brush, then just choose a color that's slightly lighter than your leaf and go ahead and paint over the edges and wherever you want the lighter color to appear. We'll add a little shading too. So grab your chalky shader brush. You can siphon up the color for each leaf and then use that same color to shade in. It'll automatically darken it a little bit so that you don't have to worry about choosing the right color for your shadow or whatever. If you choose to use a spray paint brush from the Procreate app, then you can just choose a color that's slightly darker but within the same hue and that will work well too. There's not really a perfect way to do this or anything. I just kind of added shadows underneath the leaves and if one leaf fell in front of another one, I would put a little shadow behind it to make it look like it had some dimension to it. Just kind of play around with it and have fun. Add a little bit more to my terracotta pot and I'm going to use the one called Lotta Lift from the Texture Bundle just to give it a little bit more of like a shine. And I wanted to make the rim really stand out. So I'm just gonna sweep across the rim to make it look like it has like that lip at the top. And then just add a little bit more onto the part of the pot that would have a natural highlight. forget about your smudge tool to smooth things out as you need to. And once it's done, if you'd like to adjust your background color, you could do that or you could just leave it white, but I wanted mine to be like this pretty pale pink. 
I decided to do one final sweep of a little bit of texture over each leaf with the brush that's called Sprayed Lift. You don't necessarily need to do this, but I just wanted to add just like one more layer of texture to it just to get it to look exactly the way I wanted. I like the Derwent sketching pencil that comes with the Procreate app. So I used that to draw my little smiley face and then it's complete. I hope this was a fun project for you and I'd love to see your little succulent. So if you post it on social media, don't forget to tag me at my McDoodles. Um, you can use hashtag my McDoodles. I'm on Facebook and Instagram and I'd love to see what you created. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to click subscribe so you won't miss out on the next tutorial and there's more videos if you'd like to watch more. I'll see you next time.